up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. You guys are abruptly being thrown into a vlog currently because I'm doing something different with my hair. I'm not going to tell you what because you have to wait till the end of the vlog, but I have been thinking about doing something different with my hair since January and like literally last night I was like, you know what? I'm going to do it. And so then my mom talked to her hairstylist and she was basically like trying to figure out a time that I could come and I was like as soon as possible. And literally as of like 20 minutes ago, she was like, hey, what about 1 p.m. today? So I was working and I abruptly stopped, threw on some proper clothes, and now I'm on the way to the hair salon. So this is what you're seeing. Here's my hair. This is my hair normally, you know, big fro. My hair's always been curly my whole entire life, but I've never changed it, so I need to change, and so crazy. <laughs> so you guys are watching this vlog. It's really abrupt, but I'm really excited to take you guys along with me as usual for this new journey in my life. I'm married. We're older. Hello. We're 25. We're ready for a change. So yeah, let's get right into the vlog. Okay. So I'm here at the salon. How am I feeling? I'm feeling a little nervous. I'm feeling a little bit nervous, but we're here for it. It's going to be amazing. And, um, yeah, my mom's here, thankfully, for moral support. So, I'll check back in with y'all when I got some new hair, okay? Mamita! Hey! Um, I'm recording for my YouTube. What do oh, you have food for? Tomiko. Oh, that's sweet. Hi, my mom's here for moral support. You look so cute. Hi. See, she... Well, no, I'm not going to say anything. Never mind. Okay, bye. <laughs> Hey guys, let's see Reggie's reaction <laughs> to my hair. Wow. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. Do you like it? I do. You do? I feel like you don't. Babe. Wait. Yo, yeah. that, that, yo, that is so you, yo. You like it? That's really good. That's really Surprise! Good. Wait, the little thing. Wow. Oh my gosh, I'm a hot mess. Yo. Yeah! I love that. That's pretty. Ow. <laughs> Thank you. Look at you. Guys, surprise. Here's my hair. Okay, I'll be back in a second when I finish talking to Reggie. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, okay, guys. Literally, my hair is so short. Like, what? Dude, what? This is literally my hair. Can you see the back? I can't see the back, but hopefully you can. That's a pan view. Anyways, I have short hair. This is what the vlog was all about. And so I'm literally sitting on my floor. This is like the jankiest setup ever. But I just wanted to be real with you guys and just give you a rundown on kind of how I came to the decision to cut my hair and where I'm at and how I'm feeling. I mean, I've only had it for like, what, five hours? Crazy. Um, it just feels really good. Like I feel like honestly, to a certain extent, in the black community specifically, having long hair can be the golden standard to some. Like I'm not gonna generalize it, but 
just based on what I heard growing up, whenever I mentioned the notion of like cutting my hair or anything, they're like, girl, don't cut your hair. You've been growing it for years. Don't cut your hair. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like you start to internalize that stuff and, and equate your long hair, or I started to internalize it and equate my long hair with beauty. And I think I've just gotten to the point where that's not where I'm at anymore. Like this season that God has me in is basically teaching me that I'm valued because of what's on the inside of me. And no matter if my hair is long or short, or if I wear glasses or if I don't, or if I wear a certain outfit or whether I don't, like that does not equal to my value. That does not equal to my beauty. And so since I wanted to try something new and since I'm definitely in a new season of being married and being a wife and having sex now and growing up and maturing and I'm 25, like I felt like what better time to cut my hair than now. So hello to Spunky Jazz. And I feel like it really fits my personality. You know, like it's like, I can be a fireball sometimes, like pew pew, and then I feel like my hair is like pew pew, you know? So I'm really happy with it, um, and I'm glad that I was able to bring you guys along with me for some hot behind the scenes footage and just experiencing um, a shedding of an old jazz and the becoming of a new jazz. It's just so fun, and I'm glad I'm able to experience this with you guys. Some of you may be asking, like, are you gonna keep your hair short forever? I don't know. I'm just kind of ebbing and flowing with whatever I feel right now and in the moment. Like, I am really happy with where I'm at with my short hair. I'm sure I'll find some fun things to do with it. It's just such a beautiful thing to like, put some hair, some products in your hair and then leave it and go and it just like falls so beautifully, like all the volume. It's just really fun. Um, so shout out to my parents and Reggie who like talk with me through all of my emotions and being like, should I do it? Should I not? Should I do it? You guys are the real MVPs. They really convinced me to just go for it. Life's too short, right? And it's just hair and it will grow back. And you are beautiful with short hair, long hair, medium hair, brown hair, blonde hair, whatever. Your hair is beautiful and my hair is beautiful. So that's the moral of the story. I just wanted to sit down and give you guys a rundown of like how I kind of came to that decision. Um, and it's crazy and my hair is short. So surprise, welcome to my new era. I hope you enjoy it with me. And even if you don't, get the F out the club. Just kidding. <laughs> guys well don't forget to like subscribe comment down below letting me know if you've ever like done a big chop or if you cut your hair before this is kind of like new for me so i would love to know your journey through that but anyways i will see you guys in my next video next week and i love you so much and i'll talk to you later bye guys